What's, What's up, Jaden Pam? Okay, so today's video is going to be top tips on how to start your fitness journey in 2024. I feel like we get asked this question a lot, and it's like, okay, like I want to work out, I want this like lifestyle, but like where do I even begin? And I feel like I can really relate to that just because like before I met you, like I knew I loved working out and I would just run, but I didn't know how to work out. I was intimidated by the gym, the diets, all of it. It just seemed like a lot. Honestly, starting is the hardest part, and I have a similar story to KB as mm -hmm. well. When I first started my fitness journey, I was lucky enough to have my older brother who knew a little bit about working out and yeah. what like you feel more confident when you're with someone that kind of shows you the way. So mm -hmm. we want to be those people for you guys out there that don't have someone to show you the way. We want to give you the top tips for 2024. So, so our basically, tip, yeah, we're just gonna break it down into tips and how you guys can start the new year's off, start it good and make those changes in your life. Go ahead with the first one. The first tip is to have a why or also a reason on what you're doing and okay. why you're doing it. So what's your why? Like why did you start working out? I started working out because I wanted to feel like confident and like I felt like as I did work out with the little knowledge I knew, I knew I always felt better. Like I felt like I had more energy. I felt I had more like, I felt more confident too in my body. Like I felt just like more positive if that makes sense. And this is one thing I have for girls and I feel like you might even like, I don't know if you'll relate to this, but my why, I feel like when you have the why of losing weight, like your reason be like, oh, I just wanna look skinny, or I just wanna look fit. If that's your only why, I always feel like girls will go up and down with like their weight and I also feel like you'll go in and out of working out because it's kind of like a mental game. But if, you're, if you change your reasoning of why to not just to look good, but to like feel good and feel confident, and focus more on how you feel when you eat healthy, like how your body feels and how like positive you feel when you eat healthy or work out. I feel like you'll change completely. Cause honestly, before I met you, my reasons were like, oh, I wanna feel confident, I wanna feel good. But it was a little more focused on like how I looked. And then when I met yeah. you, it was more on, focused on how I was feeling. And I feel like that just changed everything. I me. think that's something you develop over the years of working out because I, mm -hmm. I gotta be honest, when I first started working out, I was a skinny boy in high school. And I tell you what, my only why was to get big muscles and that is all I cared about. And, and there's nothing as, wrong with that. No, it's just like, I, think, I so. think when you change your reasoning and once you start paying attention to how you feel, you get like, addicted to working out in this lifestyle because it makes you feel so amazing. 100%, and that was only my why, like in the beginning. The minute I started like working out and I would get that like amazing feeling after of accomplishment and I would start to feel a little more confident about myself because I was doing things I said I was gonna do, mm -hmm. that then became my real reasoning. But obviously what drove me initially was getting made fun of for being too skinny or being little and wanting to like change that. But it's important to know your why because every time, even for me, like I'm in the gym, like there's been times where I'm just like, oh, I'm not feeling this workout and I wanna quit so bad. And I'm like, today's just like, I'm not feeling it. And then I think back and I'm like, no, like I'm gonna feel so much better about myself if I finish this workout. Yep. If I quit, I'm gonna feel like I like failed on something I was supposed to do today. And if I finish it, I'm gonna feel great about myself. So I'm yeah. like, I'm pushing for that. So myself. having that why and that reason is gonna be that little thing in the back of your head. When you wanna not do your workout, it's gonna be like, this is the reason why I'm gonna do mm -hmm. it. So tip number two would be, and one of the most important, is have a workout plan. Yes, I, that's honestly why we even created our Move app, if you guys know about that. This isn't even to plug it, it's just why we created it. <laughs> it's because it's like, when you go to the gym, and I've been to the gym with a ton of like different girls, and they're like, oh, come work out with me. And then we're just like doing random things. It's like, we're not even really doing a good workout. You kind of sit there in the gym and you're like, oh, like, what workout do you want to do next? It's like, when you go in there with a the plan, you attack it, you get it done, and you leave, it, it saves you the most amount of time because mm -hmm. a lot of people complain about how long it takes to work out. We do our workouts, people think we work out for like two, three hours a day. No. We work out, I work out for like 40 minutes long. Yeah. And maybe but an we, hour. But we get in and we like work for those yeah, 40 minutes. Yeah, we get it like, done, we work out hard for those 40 minutes, and we get out. I don't like wasting time, I don't like being in the gym for, and hours on hours. There's something uh, when you have like a plan and you complete it and when you complete everything that's like written out for your workout, you're like, I did it, like I can go. And you know like how far you are in your workout because there's so many times where if I was just doing a workout where I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna do it till I feel yeah. a burn. I feel a burn sometimes in the second set of something. <laughs> but then I'm like, oh, I can't do more. But if I have it written out in a plan, I'm like, okay, like I'm gonna do more. Or like if I'm on the move out, 
no, I totally through. agree. I'm like, well, I could quit now. Like, I definitely feel like I had a good workout, but then it always there's pushes more me to, to be complete done. more, and it pushes me to the next level. Yeah, and there's tons of fitness apps out there. Maybe our fitness app isn't for you. That's fine. There's a ton of fitness apps out there. You guys can search for those, or you can honestly, I we have YouTube workouts on a YouTube yeah. channel. A bunch of other YouTubers also have workouts that you can follow along their programs. Mm -hmm. Follow people on Instagram. Um, that is going to be a later tip as well to follow people, but we'll get into that later. Why do I look so much taller than you? I don't know. I like just slouching these shirts. I, like I don't know what it's trying to slouch. Let me get up. Let me get up. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I've been working out for over ten years, and yeah. if I go to the gym without a plan, my workouts are like fifty percent. They're not. They're not even good. I don't even feel accomplished after. But so I have a plan and. With that being said, we're gonna move on to number three, which is to set your goals. Oh yeah, setting goals is really important. And honestly, even like sometimes for us, it's like you don't just set your goals once. Like we've been working on a long time, but even right now, I feel like I need to set a new goal because like yep. there'll be patterns in your life where you fall out of like, where you're working out, but you're not working out for a specific goal. Oh, and yeah. then it's like, you're like, okay, I feel like I'm falling off a little bit. Like I need to get after like a certain goal. Yeah, just recently a couple of friends and I, we. Were, we're like, let's do a marathon. And for me, I've ran, I've been running for a long time, but never like these long distances. So it was kind of a new goal for me to attack and it was super fun mm -hmm. and just different. Even I didn't end up getting to run the marathon because I injured my knee, but even to train for it and do that process was something completely different and new for me. And same thing, we had a goal, we had a plan mm -hmm. and we set goals for it and crushed them for the most part. Yeah. But yeah, doing the same thing because I totally forgot what I was saying. <laughs> but yeah, just setting goals honestly is really important to so that way you know what you're working towards. What's one of your goals? Um, my goals is actually well, I guess it's like fitness -y. It's more so to make sure we're like cooking from home more and eating like healthier foods and paying attention to what's in the foods. So being a little more cautious of what we put into our bodies because like you always food say, is fuel. food is fuel for your body. And then another one is to get back into like those savage workouts, like the hit workouts with weights. Um, but yeah, I think just like now that obviously I'm not pregnant and I was doing those while I was pregnant. I actually was, I feel like I was working out even harder when I was pregnant. She was crushing but, when she um, was pregnant. I mean, I'm still working out. I just feel like my workouts, like I love when we're like savage every single day. Like, yeah, you I'm always so go through like a phase with yeah. anything in life where some things become monotonous and it's like, okay, like how do I switch it up? And mm -hmm. I feel like we're both kind of reached that phase at the end of this year with like our workouts and we're like, okay, we need to get back to doing like these savage workouts. Yeah, so. our lives also got super, super busy with um which we still were working out like we would just be at the office all day long and it only had like 20 minutes to work out so i'm like okay i'm just gonna run real quick so like i've yeah. still been working out or been doing 40 minute workouts it's just like not every single day savage consistent it's not like a yeah. goal and a plan I oh we're still getting plan. it in we're still getting it in. Yeah. but honestly even sometimes when we film these videos you know we can reflect on ourselves because we're human as well and we make these mistakes mm -hmm. so it's good to do these because we're like yeah now we need to oh, go I do have these some major because we goals. used to we we do always do these. But, but my goals aren't starting and New Year's are starting now because once you write them, you do them. All right, number four is don't wait to start. Start today. Well, that was the perfect intro. To Literally, that one. I didn't even know that one was. But no, honestly, sometimes I always be like, oh, I'll wait till the New Year's. But then it's like that bad mindset. And you're like, oh, I'll just eat really bad for the holidays. I'll just like, and it's not even that you can't eat bad for the holidays. I still think it's like start your goals now and like enjoy the holidays. I, I always think people think like with, especially with holidays coming up, like it's like, oh. Like you can't do it. You can't eat this, you it. can't eat that. I'm like, you can definitely indulge and have, just don't like overdo it. But start, don't be so like concerned about facts. it. Start Enjoy building a healthy habit now. Like say, say you don't work out at all and you're like, oh, I want to work out to start the new year's. And like, I feel like most people's mindset would be like, well, I'm not going to start working out now because the holiday. Uh, Everyone I'm going to eat bad that. during Christmas. It's one so day. So what? It's one Build the healthy habit of going to the gym and working out, even if you do it for 10 minutes, because now you have that habit and rolling into January 1st, now you're like, okay, now the holidays are over, I'm gonna be eating healthy, but I've already been going to the gym for 15 days. Yeah. I've been crushing it. Well, now then also, roll it into January 1st. It's a lot easier, even like if you want like all the bad foods, like, okay, you have a piece of cake, let's say you want another piece of cake, but you're like, ah. I feel like when you work out, you're kind of like, Oh, I, I like worked so hard at that. And it's not even like you feel like you're missing out. I also feel like for some reason when I work out, I like crave 
less bad food. Yeah, because you're starting to do things to better yourself and you're you're realizing like, hey, I worked out for 40 minutes this morning, I crushed a workout. It's like, I could put this into my body, which is like putting water into your gas tank and it's gonna destroy your car, or I could put this into my body, which is gonna like make my I car also, run like a supercar. I also think people always assume that like, you have to have like the cleanest diet to be fit. And I think eating healthy is good. That's true, healthy but, like, balance. People even comment on our videos all the time, they'll be like, she's too skinny, eat a cheeseburger. I'm like, I eat plenty of cheeseburgers. Eat cheeseburgers I have cookies all the time. All the time. Like I, I have a very like normal, like I don't. I will say, we. We need to actually eat better. This is not a tip, but you know, it's my toxic trait I'm gonna throw in there. I sometimes work out just to enjoy food more. I'm like, yeah, like I know better. that if I have a hard workout, my food, like what I'm eating for dinner today, is just gonna taste like a little bit better because I, like I feel so accomplished. Too. I'm I just hit a hard workout, so I feel like I could eat a little bit more as well. Yeah, we are not these people who are like, like I know some people look at it and they're like, ah, oh, I just could never do that. I could never live, I could never look like that or be like that lifestyle because I love food too much. We love food. We <laughs> like, love food. Like we always joke, we're like, we're thick. Like literally, like we'll literally be like, do you want to work out so food tastes better? We're like, yeah, <laughs> like it's bad. Speaking of food, we're gonna move into our next tip, which is kind of a combination of everything, which mm -hmm. is make it easy. And what I mean by that is like, obviously all the ones we've talked about already, like setting these goals, having a plan, that's making your workout easy. And same for nutrition. So, yes. um, subtle plug, we wanna plug first form right here. Um, this is something that has helped us tremendously is making it easy, whether it's having protein shakes, mm -hmm. protein, uh, protein bars. I think for, for me personally is when I have a protein shake or when I incorporate more protein in my diet, I'm less hungry and I, I feel less snacky. So like I, cause your body, like when a lot of times when you like feel like you need to eat snacks, it's like your body just needs more protein. Yep. And I feel like you're putting other things in your body that aren't helping you reach your goals. So I think it's really important to have protein shakes, um, protein bars, whatever. And when I say make it easy, I, what I mean is like this, these are sitting in our cabinet right there, and it's like when I get a little snacky or a little hungry, it's and like we don't have, I like, could easily walk in the cabinet and grab something unhealthy if I had it, but we don't. We have protein bars, we have protein powder, I can make a protein shake, which everyone's like, oh, this one's gross. Like, no, you make these protein good. bars like, taste like candy bars. Like, I, so I absolutely love these. Like, I'll grab these as my snack. Mm -hmm. And now I'm getting something healthy in my body. Same with the protein drink. We make, you guys already know, CTC is our favorite flavor. It's and we make the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They're, Joshy B Special Protein they Shake. I actually have a peppermint bark one that I love. Yeah. because And the Root Beer Float. They have tons of good flavors. We're mm -hmm. gonna leave them linked down below for you guys to check them out. And also another way to make it easy is Get ex make it exciting. Workout. Make, make it, it exciting. Which I don't want to even want to say. Like you don't have to have pre-workout no. to have a good no. workout. Sometimes in my head, I'm like, it feels like more of a placebo, but it definitely gives you like caffeine and energy. Yeah, and obviously, if if you guys want, um, consult with your doctor before taking any supplements. But yeah. for us. Um, we like to, if we're feeling a little tired or maybe we're like, hey, like it's been a long day, not really feeling this workout, we look at each other, we're like, pre-workout party, we mix up some pre-workout, drink it. And the listen to our drink favorite it, music and... Yeah. The minute you drink it, you're like, I'm crushing a workout now. A total mindset, it's, mind shift it's to, more I didn't so, want to do it, I'm doing it. It's not like, and normally for me, it's not like when I take pre-workout, I'm like, oh my God, I feel like right away. <laughs> no, it's, it's not more so it's like crazy It's like thing, a fun but, like routine that you do before yeah. and it's like, it tastes good. Now you're like, I have all this energy, I'm pumped up, I'm ready to go. I have my favorite music going, like let's go crush. Make working out fun. Like literally 100%. like don't make it like this thing where you're like, oh, I hate it so much. Like listen, blast your music. Like, And another thing too is, cause you said make it fun. Like always finding ways to make it fun. For example, <laughs> we got, we got the JD jug right here. So drinking water is gonna, it's gonna be a tip later on, but making this fun. Like I always hear people- <laughs> I was like, how are you relating this to no, me? No, we'll get there. I always hear people say like, oh, drink your water. It just gets so bland. It gets so I, I never see people drink water who are always like, no, I drink water. I'm like, I know. I've been with you all day. I don't even think I drink like, to you. Take I just need water. something different than just water. It's so boring. So, and I kind of agree. So yeah. every, Every day, I drink my BCAAs, so I mix them in my water. Whenever I'm getting to the point where I'm like, oh, I don't really wanna drink any more water, I'm kinda sick of it, because you guys know, I've been saying this for years, I always drink two JD jugs a day, mm -hmm. try to get my whole gallon of water in every single day. So sometimes I even mix my BCAAs in here, 
And that way, like, I'm like, now I have to finish it because I put the powder in there. So I'm gonna drink And here's it a little tip. I absolutely hate when he puts anything she but water so in a water bottle. Before. Just because I'll go to take a sip of water and that's not what I'm expecting. So I'm like, oh. I'm like, why did you do that? Or it'll be like a little. Or it'll be like, he'll have BCAs in here and then I'll he'll drink have water it all, in it and after, then I'll put water in it. And it has like this like it. hint flavor. It's and like I'm like, this is flavor. weird. Like, I'm like, I don't know what to expect. Katie's not a fan of that. It's like but a mystery she does bottle. drink BCAs every night. She I love puts BCAs. In a glass of water. Yeah, they taste really good. If you guys want to check out any of those products, they are linked down below. These mm -hmm. are our favorite products. We stand oh. by them. We take them every day. I don't know if this thing you wrote down, but my next tip is oh, baby. to, if you feel good, no. If you look good, <laughs> you're going to work out good. Or if you feel confident, you're going to work out good. Like there is something about going to the gym and if you have a cute outfit, like a workout outfit, yeah. I will have a million times better of a workout rather than if I just like throw on like a raggedy t-shirt and like whatever and stuff agree. I don't like. And I don't feel, agree. when I have like a cute outfit, I'm like, oh, we're crushing this workout. Cause like not to, not in like even like a vain way, but like when you're in the gym, like you, there's a lot of mirrors in the gym. You look <laughs> and you're true. like, oh, I look cute. Like I got this workout. You just feel so much more confident. Like there's something about having a cute gym outfit that I don't know. If, that's just for me. I know a lot of other girls feel that way. But. No, I definitely agree. Especially like even if you're like kind of in a rut with working out, it's as simple as like maybe you get a new gym outfit and you're like, this or you is reward gonna... yourself. Like let's say you're like, okay, I'm gonna crush working out for two, three weeks or whatever your goal is. Be like, if I go to the gym from five days a week for three weeks, I'm gonna buy myself this workout set. Yep. Like it's always good to have like little rewards too. Um, and I think always investing in your fitness is so important because I know sometimes I'll hear people complain about prices like whether it's like supplements or clothing or different things I'm like people will spend so much more money on things that really don't matter But it's like you will never waste money when it's with your health or your fitness because I mean that's like your That's your longevity of your life. So hundred percent. I think that that's worth all the and money. I know you're spending eight dollars at Starbucks a day So come on now <laughs> no. Yeah, true. Um, that was actually one of my tips is set a reward for reaching your goal mm -hmm. um, which again I think is huge and it's gonna make it more exciting when you get there yeah okay another tip is consistency and discipline is the key there is no bad workout so I, this is something I used to struggle with like if I didn't crush a savage workout and I know we were just talking about this um, I'd feel like a little like oh I didn't get a good workout in like I'd feel unsatisfied yeah but really when you look at it, it's like, okay, well I still moved, I still did something today. So you gotta use that, because you, you, if you're working out all the time, you're not always gonna have a savage crushing your workout. I also think consistency helps you build that habit. It's working yeah. out for us now is like to the point where it's like if we don't work out, something feels off and it's not like a, oh, I, I did so good today, I worked out. It's like a, I feel weird if I don't work out. And I like that that habit is instilled because it makes it, like I look forward to my workout now as to like before, even like I met you, like I would look forward to working out here and there because I definitely worked out before you. I just didn't know how. But like before that, I'd be like, ew, people who run are crazy. Like, oh, <laughs> going to the gym, like no thanks. Like it just never was something that, you know, and I know so many yeah. people start and they're like, oh, it's so hard to go to the gym. It's like, okay, make it easy for yourself to build a habit. Maybe you're just like, okay, I'm gonna do a move app workout for 20 minute abs and that's it. And then I'm gonna be done. Yep. Or like a 10 minute workout at home. And then you just build that habit and it makes it easier. And then you start to actually really like the gym. And we're not saying you have to work out every single day. No. Everyone is gonna have a different schedule, a different plan. That's why the goal number one was to have a plan. Oh, my next goal is Wait, I do, before you okay. get there, I do wanna say, and I don't know if you relate to this but I think I want to say and I'm tributing it all to working out I think all of our success and everything we've created everything we've done I contribute back to working out because I, I know agree. when I was a skinny little Josh and I set a goal for myself to work out every day gain muscle and do whatever I had to do to get it done I knew when I worked out for two months and I saw no results I kept going and that that right there is a discipline because you're doing something hard that day to then reach a goal later in the future and I think that's what that's why I I would say everything we've created yeah. all the success we've had I, get, I contribute it to working out because it kind of created this mindset that's like I'm gonna do something hard today for multiple days without seeing results to but then get an end it. result and I'm gonna keep doing it as crazy as that sounds no it's the same thing in for, months then I'm gonna get that end result it's the same thing as when I started YouTube videos I did it for a couple 100%. of years and 
I didn't really have that many subscribers. Like it was slowly growing, but it was so much work. I was like losing money on it. And I was like, this just doesn't make sense, but I'm so passionate about it. And I was like, I know one day this could be a job for me. And I was like, I loved it so much. And I knew that there was a potential of the end result. And it's like that consistency. Yeah. I 100% I contributing to I feel like when someone is very driven and hardworking with working out, it reflects in their life, whether it's their work. I know so many people who are in like the fitness industry and different things, not even on social media, but they're just very successful in their job and like how they are, they work and their work ethic. I feel like it really develops, even like for some of our friends of like seeing them before yeah. and then after of like oh, what working no out's doubt. done in their work life and their relationship life. Like I feel like working out is so much more than just like looking good. Yeah, because like, I'm very I just, passionate about that. I, I know how I felt before I started working out and then after and the confidence I've gained and oh, the yeah. mental toughness, again, the discipline. I, I, I think that's the biggest thing for me. Oh, 100%. You said you had a tip, do you remember it? Cause I- Oh, I oh, okay, yes. That. This is my tip is to, and I don't want anyone to get offended by this because obviously everyone has a different schedule, different lifestyle, uh -oh. but stop making excuses. Facts. People make excuses all the time. Like all the time. And, and like, don't get me wrong. I know that like Josh and I are very fortunate with our jobs and certain things, but we do have some crazy, crazy busy days. And I do understand that like part of working out like week is part of our job as well. But there's times- But when, I like, disagree with that because- We I don't mean, really get- Yeah, we don't really- Cause we're on know. social media now and now you see it and like, okay, they work from home, they do this. First of all, we still have a very busy schedule. Second of all, I mean, I can relate to when I worked two jobs, I'd work out, I worked at five in the morning, I'd wake up at three in the morning to work out at 3.30 in the morning to 4.30 before my work shift. And, and then not, work two jobs. That's not just it. And that's like, not oh, complaining. Oh, so much better. Like we worked out this or no. that. I'm just saying like, I know there's times, time. even in my schedule where it's been, we've been so busy and the last thing I want to do is work out, but I'm like, I have 20 minutes. I'm going to get it done because I know how I will feel. And I know so many people are like, how do you do it? How do you find the time? You make time. Cause I yeah. know people will make time for other things. And it's like, it really isn't that much time in your day. Like 30 minutes in your day. I'm pretty sure it's like the tiniest percentage. It can be a 10 minute workout. Yeah. You just got to start that process. And I think just obviously like, okay, you don't have, some people will be like, oh, I wish I could work out, but I don't have a full blown gym in my um, garage. And I'm like, oh, I totally understand that. I grew up with no gym, no nothing. The closest gym was like 30 minutes from my house. I didn't have enough money to afford a gym membership, but yeah. I would do at home free workouts on YouTube, like literally right with my TV in, in my living room. So just whatever your excuse is, try and find a way around that excuse, you know? Cause I feel like you can do it. You just gotta, you gotta beat your own self if that makes sense. 100%. Cause you can do it and I believe in you guys. My next tip is to, social media is such a big thing nowadays and obviously if you're watching mm -hmm. this video, you know about social media. Follow people that are doing what you wanna do and use that as motivation. And inspire you, yeah. not to compare. Yeah. Like girls are so bad with Definitely this. Definitely like, not comparison, but. No, but I personally, like, I'll follow like other like fitness girls and I love watching them work out because I'm like, Oh yeah, like that, like that's so sick. I think I'm gonna go work out. Like it like motivates me to like go get my workout done. I don't know. All right, you guys, the last thing is very important. I think people always skip over this is taking care of your body, whether it's stretching, drinking enough water, and just like getting enough sleep, doing little other habits outside of working out that are gonna like push you to have a good workout. Yeah, start creating good habits. Like we said earlier, like once you start working out, like maybe you then don't wanna eat the bad thing because you understand like, oh, I just worked out so hard. Like mm -hmm. I don't wanna eat that bad thing. Start creating other good habits that also fuel that fire of like that snowball effect. Now I'm doing yeah. this, now I don't wanna do this because I know it's bad for me. Or now I'm working out every day, now I'm gonna start stretching because I know mm -hmm. it's even better for me and I'm gonna have a sleep schedule because I know it's better to have a sleep schedule. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna eat healthy. It's just that consistent snowball effect and again, I want to say this does take time. Again, yes. we've been work I've been working out for over 10 years. Katie's been working out forever. Um, and this isn't something that happened for us overnight. So start with small ha habits. Don't Ease go into it. Don't think you have to go crush a two-hour no. workout tomorrow morning. And don't go zero to 100 with diet either. I know girls do that all the time. And they'll be like, oh, I'm keto now. Or I'm this now. And, and they do it for like... And I'm not saying anything's wrong with those. I'm just saying I personally believe that you cannot diet. Like I think a diet just doesn't work. 
Like I feel like you have to make healthy choices. It has to be a lifestyle change. Like it can't just be like, oh, I'm cutting out all sugars. Or I'm cutting out all this. Unless you have like different reasons. But like if you're tr truly trying to lose weight, make small changes. Let's say every single day you get a um, pop at a restaurant or you get a lemonade. It's like maybe cutting out just that. And then start making like easier, like chipping back yeah. at what you, I don't know, the bad habits you make. Again, because it doesn't happen overnight. No. So get that snowball effect happening and keep building good, strong habits. But if you guys have- Crush your 2024, baby. If you have any questions, comment down below. We love you guys. Um, make sure you guys check out First Form for any like good supplements. They have so much stuff. They have like greens, red, We've named so many different things, but check them out. 2024 is going to be your year. You got to believe it. Start writing your goals down. Come up with a plan and again, execute it. Execute it and make right. it happen. Love you guys. We love See you guys. guys. Stay savage. Don't be average. <laughs>